Hey guys, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today in Sony Vegas, I'm going to be just going over some uh, like film grains and um, to make it look old timey, just um, introducing you to the uh, different types of effects you can get if you use the film grains or the noise or the um, uh, film effects. So I have a little clip here of um, this guy playing some uh, COD 4 just just to use for a tutorial. Um, let me go ahead and mute this. Alright, there we go. Um, so, the first thing is, um, like I said, I'm going to be going over noise and uh, film effects and some film grain. And film grain and noise are pretty much the same. Uh, they look almost identical, but uh, yeah. So the first thing is film effects, and uh, if we go under here right now, um, they have some presets for us, very old film, some Syria 1908, some uh, Syria 1980. But uh, if we go ahead and drag reset to none, drag that onto our clip. Um, this this video event effects options come up, and um, a few things that we can change. We can change the grain, which is those. Um, uh, it makes it kind of look like staticky, I guess, and. Um, uh, it also has those lines, which you can change down here by going to Enable Particles. Um, you can use Dust, Flicker, which I think it would mean that it like um, flickers colors, like flashes, I guess. And then Jitter, Shaking, and Hair. Um, have no idea what that is. <laughs> and then uh, like Scratches. Scratches would be the um, thing that you've probably seen the most or you're most aware of. And actually, let me look at jitter hair. What does hair do? Oh, so hair is like, um, it makes the film like have little little splotches on it, like missing bits of information from it. Uh, so, so there's that for hair. Um, you can also make it grayscale, turns it black and white. That looks pretty cool, I'm not going to lie, as it is right now. Um, you can also have it go to a color, which is the tint option. If you can drag this up and down, how tinted you want it. Um, going at one, I think is a bit much, so, uh, I think maybe around, like, here would look pretty cool. And, um, another cool thing about this stuff is, um, it's already pre-animated, um, so you don't have to animate it. Actually, let me make sure. Yeah, it's pre-animated, and you can also go in and, uh, animate it yourself if you want to. So, um... That is film effects, and the next thing we want to look at is actually let me remove this really quickly. So film effects makes it uh, look old timey. There's presets and uh, reset to none works really well to get whatever kind of effect you want. Uh, next thing is film grain and noise, and they're pretty much the same. If we add colored um, film grain, if we change, the only difference I think is like the amount it looks more dodgy and um but the things you can change in here are obviously the amount how much you want lower is gonna to me looks like just change the opacity of it but uh, you can tell how much you want there and the granularity um i don't know how big or small the particles are looks like so and the chromisticity is the color so if you want it black and white, you go down, and if you want it color, you go up, obviously. And um, again, there's uh, two presets, um, not really unique here, just, you know, a lot or a little for extreme and, you know, a little bit. But um, the, f the last thing we're going to look at is the noise, add noise, the very first um, effect in here. And if you have the uh, platinum version, the film effects might not be in here but um, noise and film grain will be. But um, under noise, there's, there's kind of a bit more we can do. If we go ahead and choose recent none, um, we can have a noise level. Obviously, you want a lot or a little bit. I think around here would look nice. It, it, it's kind of ridiculous a little, if you go higher. Um, makes the clip look uh, unprofessional, I want to say. But um, again, uh, what you want here is you want to have it animated because um, if it's not animated, it just looks bad. <laughs> and 
And again, we have the monochromatic and the Gaussian noise. Gaussian noise looks pretty bad. I guess it thins it. That's what it looks like. Monochromatic, again, it makes it black. Yeah, it makes it black or white. So, um, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll recap. So, if you want to make it look, um, really old-timey, then go to Film Effects, which is only available in the Pro versions, I think. I'm not sure if the, um, regular one, the Platinum or the Home Studio things have it, but, um, this is how you make it look dodgy and old, and that kind of, a lot of other things you can do with it. And Film Grain and Noise do pretty much the same thing by adding making it look staticky like a television. Um, so I hope you experiment with that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been e Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that...